sucker punch. That's what the Trudeau government hit Canadians with today by increasing interest rates after Trudeau and his government promised rates would stay low for long. They said the rates would stay low, so Canadians took on hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt. And now suddenly, rates have risen by over four percentage points in a single year. This is the eighth increase in less than a year. In fact, rates are now 16 times, the Bank of Canada rate is 16 times higher than it was a year ago. Uh, why? Well, the cost of government is driving up the cost of living. A half trillion dollars of inflationary Trudeau deficits are bidding up the goods we buy and the interest we pay. He's added more debt than all previous prime ministers combined. And this, according to the governor of the Bank of Canada, is driving up interest rates. On top of that, Trudeau and his costly coalition with the NDP proposed to triple, triple, triple the carbon tax on gas, heat, and groceries, even after that same tax has failed to hit a single solitary climate change target. This is the responsibility of a prime minister who is the most expensive prime minister in Canadian history. A Polyev government will reverse these inflationary policies, will cap spending, cut waste, fire the high-priced consultants who are now gobbling up 15, over $15 billion dollars or $1,000 for every Canadian household every single year. We'll get rid of the carbon tax to lower gas, heat, and grocery costs, remove the gatekeepers to build more homes, grow more food, and produce more Canadian energy. We'll let our brilliant immigrants work in their professions by making it possible for their skills to be recognized, and that will lead to more doctors and nurses. But Trudeau has not only unleashed a cost-of-living crisis, but by turning loose the vi most violent repeat offenders, Trudeau's caused a crime wave. We see random attacks on uh, transit uh, in Toronto. Four men shot in Abbotsford uh, over the last few days. A 32% increase in violent crime since Trudeau took office. 92% increase in violent gang-related crime. Uh, this is the Trudeau record. Canadians are hurting. Everything feels broken. And instead of turning that hurt into hope, the Prime Minister divides people to distract from his catastrophic failings. Well, we're going to hold him to account, but we're, all, we're going to turn that hurt into hope. A Polyev government will tackle inflation, make government affordable so life is affordable, lower taxes, reform our tax system to reward work, remove the gatekeepers to open up the gates of opportunity. And finally, tackle violent crime, not by going after indigenous hunters in Nunavut, but go, by going after the gun smugglers who bring handguns in from the United States and putting repeat habitual violent offenders behind bars where they can no longer do harm. That is the hope we're going to restore for Canadians. Now let's bring it home.